Good evening and welcome to City News. Life is slowly returning to normal here in Toronto's entertainment district with the reopening of one of Canada's most iconic tourist attractions. The CN Tower, you can see it right here. It opened its doors to visitors this morning for the first time in nine months, giving a desperately needed economic boost to the downtown core. We're from Quebec, so we bought them in advance like a week ago, I'd say. Oh, so we have, we have real tourists. Yeah, actual, actual <laughs> tourists. There was almost a pre-pandemic buzz here on Bremner Street as tourists were lining up to take an elevator to the sky. Welcome to the last floor. Has it been kind of boring? Are you glad that there's stuff to do again? Yeah. 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 This is fun. We're going to see Niagara next week. The D'Souza's are Canadian citizens living in Arizona. This is our first trip back home in a long time. Now, when's the last time you were up in the CN Tower? Oh, it's been now 25, 20 years, 25 yeah, years 20, 25 years. We had our, uh, our rehearsal dinner for our wedding uh, at the CN Tower. Oh. 21 years ago. How romantic. It's yeah. beautiful up there. It is, yeah. So now it's time for the kids to see it too. Now that the provincial borders are open again, we found Quebecers out in droves. Many are making Toronto their summer vacation destination. You excited to go up? Yeah, she's a little bit scared, but. It's kind of scary up there, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Like the glass deck is, yes. is pretty scary. The CN Tower is sold out today with about 2,000 visitors expected, but that's a far cry from the 12,000 it would normally see on a busy Friday. We're really excited about bringing people, but we want to assure guests that we've done everything possible to make sure they're safe, including contact tracing, spacing guests out, time tickets, and of course, all the things that we've added to the building, like intensive cleaning, more HVAC, and of course, additional spacing throughout the building. The CN Tower, of course, is one of Canada's most iconic tourist attractions, and today, Mayor Tory talked about its significance nationwide. It's made a huge contribution to our ability to inspire ourselves during tough times, to thank healthcare workers and people like that, uh, and to uh, mourn. Uh, on occasions such as some of the revelations we've seen with regard, with regard to the uh, residential schools. And this is just the beginning of tourist season in Toronto. Tomorrow, Ripley's Aquarium will open its doors. And in one week from today, the boys of summer are back in town. That is true. Deep to left field. What does this right. mean for a business like yours? It is, it is unbelievable to see life coming back to uh, specifically Toronto, but our little Bremer downtown corridor that we got going on down here. This is our cathedral of beer, and a cathedral only thrives when there's people here to bring life to it. And so during the pandemic, it was, it was a sad scene down here. Now, the CN Towers 360 restaurant opens July 29th. You can start booking reservations online. And today, the federal government announced that the tower will be undergoing a $21 million renovation over the coming years to make the experience even more fun and more beautiful. I also have some good news coming from Steam Whistle just across the street from here. I'm told that they're once again booking weddings, and their first one of the season goes tomorrow.